I was doing some work yesterday on the other side with the uh, yellow excavator and uh, I think we've got a small hydro leak. I think it's originating under the foot panel where all the connections are, so I'm gonna open that up and see what we got. Yeah, the whole uh, underside of this foot plate is wet. And it was, it was dripping out of here yesterday. So this is the hose that's leaking right here. The unfortunate part about this is it's not the bee nut, it's the swage. It's dripping all the way from up here. And if I trace this through, comes out of here, this hose here. All the way up to this actuator here. Well, that's unfortunate. It's not a, it's not gonna be a simple fix. I'm gonna have to remove the hose and take it to the uh, hydraulic shop. These hoses have been chafing on these clamps anyway, so I'll have to come up with an idea to isolate these hoses because they're rubbing every time the boom goes up or down. They rub on these these cheap clamps here and then start wearing the insulation off. Yeah. One thing I need to remember is to bring my plug kit up here because this will happen again eventually. be what I think it is, is it? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, you better come through there. Can you believe that? I don't think if I uh, if I move the boom, I don't think it's going to create any extra room. Really got to take this out. Yeah, it looks like I got to remove that the pin on the actuator to get that line out. So, well, that was a false alarm. I just gave that I just gave that hose a real hard tug and it came out. So, I think we're good there. So, we'll take a scooter ride here and pick up some equipment. What's the problem? The only, the, you know, we don't have this kind of fitting. No? Oh. We, we will only reuse this fitting, then change the hose. We can crimp it, but we will use the uh, old fitting. Well, the problem is this one's leaking. It's not the hose. It's not the hose. Maybe you, you need to change the O-ring. No, I saw it dripping out of here. Here? Yeah. It's got some, maybe a crack or something in, in there. Have you tried changing the O-ring? No, because I, I, I can see it. It's like mounted. It's mounted this way. And I can see it dripping from here. Oh. Yeah. Not, not. No, it's. Must be a crack. If you want, we can recrimp this. We will take this out, cut your hose a little bit, like here. Yeah. Then we will change the ferrule and we will use this fitting. Okay. If you want, we can try. Yeah. Do you have a test? Do you have a test? Uh, we don't have a test bench. Okay. Let's try that. Yeah. We got our hose back and we successfully leak checked it and installed it off camera. But um, that, that leak that leak is now fixed. We're gonna move on to get back on the, the winch project. My plan is to attach a electric winch to the yellow uh, mini excavator. What happened was I got stuck in the mud. Actually, they both got stuck. I don't recommend going in the mud, not even a a little bit stay out of the mud because they typically just don't have enough power to, to power through it and it's it's not that you spin it's just not enough horsepower to turn those tracks because that mud acts like glue we tried a couple things you know using each excavator to get the other one out that didn't work too good and had to do a lot of shovel work and wait till the ground dried out i don't want to have that happen again and the best thing to do is is just don't go in the mud. But anyway, I thought I'd try to put an electric winch on the, the yellow one here, just for the fun of it, and not necessarily to pull me out of the mud. But uh, projects like this tree behind me here that we brought down in the earlier episode, yeah, I could probably use a winch to pull some of these logs away. I want to be able to mount it to the the rear of the yellow one so I'm going to try to build a, a mounting plate welded to the counterweight and make sure I have enough room to open this door so I'm thinking around here is where I'm going to mount it I'll show you the electric winch I found on Lazada this is just a cheap electric winch it says rated to 4,000 pounds but you know, who knows about that? I'm thinking maybe make a pattern on the counterweight so it c 
can match up to that curve. I could weld it there and I could use this part to make some sides and some gussets underneath this shelf. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how this little project goes. All right, we're back at the garage. Got my plate here on my desk, my protractor. And what I want to do is transfer this line closer up here so we don't waste that much material and we don't want this sticking out so far from the back of the excavator. So I'm thinking like, probably like that much. Transfer that line here. Let's try it. Okay, first I think we're gonna try to make this cut and I'm gonna try it with my plasma cutter. I don't have a metal cutting bandsaw and I really need one of those. What else could I use? Okay, I set up my uh, plasma cutter outside here. This is a plasma cutter I bought several years ago and a quarter inch plate is probably pushing the limit on it but we're gonna give it a shot. Looks like I got halfway through and my uh, electrode disintegrated. So let's try a new one. I better order some of these. I think I have this one and one more. Okay, you ready? Don't look. <laughs> gonna need a lot of cleanup but I think that might it gets us in the ballpark anyway all right we got the drill set up we'll go ahead and drill our mounting holes here got our our plate that we cut previously 
and drilled holes for the mounting of the electric winch. And so now we're gonna fit, fit the plate on the back here and line it up and uh, go ahead and we'll tack it up and then see how, see how the uh, winch looks on there. And then we'll design some support plates for the bottom. What I plan to do is use these terminal ends that I purchased and uh, these will go through the back plate here and then so it's basically just a hookup for alligator clips to get power for the get power for the winch and uh, attach these clips to uh, the power side of the of the winch and then anytime I need to use it uh, I'll just have to go to these terminal clips in the back of the excavator and then I'm going to put in a permanent uh, wire run from the battery back here to the clips. Such an awful paint job on the exterior. They did a really good job on the counterweight. It's pretty tough to get off, huh? Is there enough so you can go bare metal to bare metal? Okay. Just make make the top and bottom here silver. So it, is this is a permanent, hmm? permanent attachment. Yeah. I mean, I, I assume these two short leads are for up and for in and out for the control, and then these are for power. But I got power here that I want to bring back. All right, we got everything tidied back up. I'm really happy with the way these connectors turned out. The, the positive one is isolated between the, this panel and I was able to simply drill a hole and, and mount these and the, and the negative just grounds right to the panel so I don't need a wire on the other side. And I know I talked about using alligator camp clamps, but uh, I might not need to do that. Uh, I, have, I have a choice whether I can just screw screw on a uh, a terminal end from the controller of the winch onto here and hook up power real quick and and maneuver everything. I think what we're going to do is we'll do a little testing and then we're still going to put some gussets on the bottom of this platform here to strengthen it up and then we'll probably hit it with some paint. I'm going to make a test with some small logs and see what it can do. Let's give it a test to see what it'll do. It 
hook it up to that that branch. This one. Yeah, the thing I can see right away is that the these leads aren't aren't long enough. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel. You know, standing this close to it, but let's see what we got. Pretty good. I don't think I could turn that over with this. I'm pretty happy with that. If you remember my other video when I backed into a tree, I bent my uh, cargo box holder. So maybe we can unbend it. We'll loop that cable around a stump and see if we can pull it straight. That little one will do it probably, Don Don, the little one. <laughs> well, maybe not. Well, we'll have to weld that back up. It wasn't supposed to be strong in that direction. <laughs> <laughs> One thing we did see on this this cable, it was kind of kinked up on the spool and not just in one place so there's something to watch out for with these cheap winches that seemed like a pretty good test so I think that's all for this project call it done or almost complete thanks for tuning in